Okay, today you're getting a weekly grocery haul that is gonna be fantastic. Well, hi guys, welcome back to Linda's Pantry. And so today I'm doing a grocery haul. I haven't done one of these in a hot minute only because typically I'm buying half of this, but I went and did, we needed a bunch of vegetables and some fruit, so there you go. Off to Winco I went after work. I feel like things, I mean, prices were about where they've been as far as um, walking down the meat aisle. Um, so in case you were wondering, there was no spectacular deals out there. But I, I needed more apples. Apples, it's apple season. These were on sale for 99 cents a pound. Uh, Honey Crisp were on sale again for $1.48 a pound. But I got the Granny Smith because I plan on doing a couple of baking items that I really like the Granny Smith better. And then um, red bell peppers were 68 cents a piece. Aren't they beautiful? And so I got two of those. I got a nice big head of cabbage. That was 72 cents a pound. A green bell pepper was 58 cents. I got two English cucumbers for salads. Um, I don't even remember what how much those were. Uh, green onions. They were pretty pathetic looking, but I need them for a recipe that I've got coming up. I'm gonna make pot stickers and I love to put the green onions in there. So, celery, 99 cents, but pretty thin. This year's been kind of strange off and on for celery, so, um, but this is gonna be probably earmarked for clam chowder. I also got two fennel bulbs because I absolutely love either roasted butternut squash and fennel or uh, fennel and carrots roasted in the oven, like a sheet pan roast. Some fresh rosemary for some rosemary, garlic, and Parmesan bread, which I plan to make here coming up. Um, and because we like the apples by themselves dipped in caramel, I got some caramel dip. So these are individually, you know, it's a portion, which is great to take to work um, or to just have as a snack. But I am gonna be doing a video coming up on how to make your own caramel sauce, so, or dipping caramel. So if you wanna see that, leave me a comment down below and I'll get that up as soon as possible. Uh, heavy whipping cream, cause you would need that for both, um, maybe your clam chowder, although I'm gonna be using whole milk in that, but you'd need that if you're gonna make caramel sauce, right? Uh, some kosher salt, because I was out of that, some vegetable oil, uh, some whole milk, some Dawn dish soap, this is a couple dollars, almost three dollars actually for that. I did get two of these um, cinnamon roll things, you just pop them in. I'm gonna do a fun recipe for you so stay tuned for that. Uh, it'll come after the caramel sauce. And I got orange sauce for an easy orange chicken over rice. Um, that's coming up for pretty quick. Some Parmesan for salads and other things, whatnot. Um, some tortillas, flour tortillas. They're, they make great wraps instead of, you know, having bread at lunch. We can do a chicken salad wrap or something like that. Some smokehouse almonds and some elbow mac. Um, elbow mac maroni. And this actually is for a potluck I have coming up at work. I, I said I would make goulash for that potluck, so that's what that's for. Also got us some ruby red grapefruit juice because that's like favorite. <laughs> Super delicious. And then as a fun treat, oh, oh. <laughs> as a fun treat, these are San Juan seltzers. They're, um, they're spiked, but the, this is a Northwest uh, blend. So it's got raspberry, raspberry cranberry, uh, Fuji apple, Rainier cherry, and huckleberry. Zero sugar, zero carbs, so it says. So it's just a spiked seltzer. Kind of something fun to have. And I did buy a bottle of Jim Beam bourbon, a little one. This is gonna be for a upcoming video that I'll be doing for you. So yeah, we've got all kinds of fun stuff and literally got out of there pretty reasonable if you, if you look at the scheme of things, but um, I'm ready to go for the week. Now all I have to do is pull out the meat out of the freezer 
this weekend so I can show you what the rest of the meal plan is going to be. All right, guys, I can't wait to see you next time. Let me know what sales were like in your area, if there was any spectacular deals. I know at Fred Meyer, they have uh, chicken on sale, 99 cents a pound. Um, I, I think that's the only big deals this week. So we'll try again next week. All right, don't forget, leave a comment, give me a thumbs up, and if you don't mind, share it on your Facebook page. All right, we'll see you next time. Bye. So everything you saw cost about $100 and boy, prices have not gone down any, but we've got some meals that are going to be delicious.